Hey guys, it's Ebony and I am here at Target. It's my day off guys. I'm so excited to be off of work. Like, work has been stressing me out. So, I'm sorry. I kind of blurted that out. I had to get it out. I am so excited to be off work today. Well, anyway, I was cleaning my house because a mother's job is never done. If you're not at work, you have to clean and do laundry and all that. But anyway, I was cleaning my house and I decided to come to Target and get like a few things here and there that I wanted to use to decorate my house because every time I clean I see things that I want to kind of spruce up a bit with decorations plus I told you guys you know a few video uh, lots of videos ago I don't remember but I told you guys that some of that I had bought a house so when I bought the house the money that we could spare we used for you know buying furniture and decorating and things but of course there's some rooms that are totally not decorated totally only have the bare minimal as far as furniture so the only way we can get the whole house furnished is just to buy a little bit here and there just a little bit here and there until everything gets the way we want it to be so today I decided to go buy a few things and I'll share it with you all what I decided to buy I think I'm just doing it for the the guest bathroom I have some shelves in there and I just want to decorate the shelves with some different things so I'm at Target can you see uh, I don't think you can see because the tree is in the way but I'm at Target so I'm about to go in there and see what I can find because I actually have a gift card so I'm not really spending my own money I'm spending somebody else's money because they gave me a gift card but um yeah that's what I'm about to do and if you can see my makeup here I'm so excited about this palette this is the Naked 3 palette and I did a video on it before I came to Target this morning actually so that video probably will be up on my YouTube channel before this video I'm not sure but I think it will be um, but this is the makeup in like natural daylight it looks pretty right I think so I like the palette a lot but um, if you haven't watched that video um, check it out like I said I think it should be up before this one alright talk to you guys again soon bye Hey guys, it's Ebony and I just got back from Target so I want to show you guys the things that I purchased in order to decorate my bathroom. And I'm going to make a part one and a part two. So this video that you're watching is going to be the part one. And then I'm going to do a part two where I actually go in the bathroom and I show you guys the before and the after. Because um, I think the things that I purchased, um, although it's not a lot of things, it's going to make a big difference in the way the bathroom looks. And I want to show you guys that but I don't want this video to just be stretched out. So I'm going to do a part one and part two. So let me get to the stuff that I actually purchased. So the first thing I got from Target is this um, this uh, straw basket. It's a chocolate colored straw basket and my plan for this basket, I, I actually have shelves, I'm going to have shelves above my toilet. So the plan for this basket is to actually put crisp white towels rolled up in this basket on top of the shelves. And I bought some towels just for that purpose and I'm hoping that none of my family members decide they want to go in there and use the towels because they can't find a towel to bathe with because this is not what these towels are for there's an airplane going overhead so you might hear that but um, I bought a few towels just for that purpose so I'm just gonna roll them up and I'm gonna put them in the basket just like this I'm gonna sit this on the top shelf so that's that and I bought towels in different sizes I bought like one large um, towel that you would normally dry off with like a bath towel and then I bought a few hand towels and I'm just going to roll them up and put them neatly in the basket and put that on the shelf okay so the next thing I bought is a candle I bought this candle not for the smell and it looks like this okay so it's not for the smell although it smells so beautiful it smells very spring like so it's not like a fall candle or anything but I didn't buy it for the smell I bought it for the color because it's this nice cream color and it's gonna go well with the decor of my bathroom so I'm gonna actually sit this on the shelf too um, maybe next to the basket or next to something else so I bought this candle sorry guys I don't have prices off the top of my head but I believe the, the candle was like ten dollars the towels were like uh, 2 or 3 dollars and the basket probably was like $14.99 or something like that. Don't quote me, I'm just thinking off the top of my head. Okay, so then I bought like a tissue, like a Kleenex holder and this is also going to go on the shelves and it's also like a chocolate brown color and it looks like this. Okay, it has to open it at the top and you just take the, the tissue box and you put it in there and then you pull the tissue out the top so I'm gonna sit this on the shelf too okay so I also bought this math bag this 
bath mat. Did I just say math bat? I did. This bath mat. And there's a shower in this bathroom. This bathroom is the bathroom that all the guests use when they come over to visit. But it happens to have a shower in there too. So I bought this bath mat. Okay, and this is pretty much the color scheme of the bathroom. It's like creams, um, tan, brown, olive green, and red. So this is pretty much the color scheme. Okay, so my battery died. <clears throat> So like I was telling you guys, this bath mat is pretty much the color scheme of my bathroom. So I'm going to put this mat in front of the shower, just on the floor right in front of the shower. Now I have some other floor mats in the bathroom, but they're just a um, plain chocolate color like this color right here. So I wanted one bath mat to be kind of different so everything's not so uniform. It adds um, some color and it also adds pattern to the bathroom. Um, by having one mat that has like a pattern or like a different different color to it. So that's my thought process behind that. Okay, so I also bought this glass container. And um, this part of the glass, or this glass is like, it's like tinted kind of yellow. And I thought that would look good in the bathroom based on the color scheme. Um, rather than just have a clear glass, this the gold or yellow tint kind of goes well with the colors in the bathroom. The top of it is like a chocolate brown. So what I'm going to do with this, I'm also going to set this on the shelves. And you're probably thinking, you're going to have a lot of stuff on those shelves. Well, it's like a three-tier shelf. So I have to fill it up with something. Otherwise, it looks like it's just, they're useless, not serving a pur purpose. So it has, it may even have four. I think it has three or four. But I'm going to set this on the shelves. Uh, on one of the shelves and I'm going to fill it with q-tips so I bought some q-tips so I'm going to fill it with q-tips okay I bought some q-tips to fill it up and it will just be there just in case any one of my guests may need a q-tip for something I, it's probably unlikely that they will ever need a q-tip but it's there and it, it, it serves more of a decorative pur purpose than a functional purpose so, I mean, it's there. If I need one of the kids to run and get a Q-tip, they can go right into the guest bathroom and instead of running all the way upstairs. Um, so that's what this is for. All right, what's now, next? Now, I bought these two containers, and I wanted to use them in the bathroom, but if they don't quite fit in the bathroom, once I'm working my magic in there and, and putting things together and arranging things, if they don't work, then I won't use them. And I have another purpose for them. But I bought this this jewelry box right here and it's just like gold and it's like gold and cream okay it has like this print on it and it's just a jewelry box the inside is like a velvet black um, but I want to use this to decorate the shelf um, maybe I can store things in it maybe I won't, won't I'm not sure yet um, but I, I just like the way it looks and I think it would look good in the bathroom to add more pattern to the bathroom and to also uh, fit in with the color scheme. If it doesn't quite work in the bathroom, that's okay. Um, come February, I'm going to be doing like a makeup vanity area in my bedroom. Right now, all of my makeup is, is in the bathroom. It's stored in the bathroom and I apply it in the bathroom. And it's a lot of it I keep on the, on top of the sink. And it's very, um, it's very sloppy. It's not very neat. Um, I try to keep it confined to one corner of the, the sink, but it's still... It's not as neat as I want it to be, and I'm sure my husband is getting tired of going in the bathroom and looking at my makeup. So I'm going to do like a, a makeup vanity area in my bedroom. This is not my actual bedroom, but I always film in here because of this window, but this is my guest bedroom. But I'm, in my bedroom, I'm going to do a makeup vanity area, and then if I can't use this in the bathroom, I will put this on my makeup vanity. Because the vanity is going to be white, I'm going to get it from Ikea. Um, but I'll show you guys that when it actually happens, but I'll put this on my vanity and I'll use it to store like hair pins and like um, hair elastics and different things that I want to use for my hair I'll store it in this box okay and then the same thing for this I bought this just because I thought it was pretty um, don't mind the paper this comes off but it's like um, it's like a glass jar but it has like gold um, it has gold printing on it in a cute design and I just liked the look of it um, I probably can't use this in the bathroom if I find some way to make it functional in the bathroom or useful as far as the decor then I will use it if not this will go on my makeup vanity and I'm already thinking about putting like my gold jewelry in here like my real gold jewelry 
and I don't have very much so it would definitely fit I just have like a few rings and like a few studs um, but nothing major I don't have any gold necklaces I don't really own that much real jewelry all my jewelry is fake like forever 21 type stuff but I will use it on my makeup vanity to put like my rings and my my real gold jewelry so that's another piece I bought from Target I think this was like ten dollars um, I can't remember the prices and I'm so sorry you guys next time I do this type of video I'll have the prices ready um, just in case you want to run to Target and get some of these things because all of this these things I bought today so they're more than likely in your Target okay and that is about it so definitely look out for part two Part two is going to be the before and after where I show you the bathroom before and I show you the bathroom after and I'm excited for that video so definitely watch out for that one. I'm going to try to upload both of these videos at the same time so that once you watch part one you can automatically go to part two. So that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Um, if you like these kind of videos please comment and let me know or thumbs up or do something just to let me know that you like it because... I have a lot of rooms in my house that I still need to decorate and I have my makeup vanity that I'm going to be doing and I have so many things that I'm going to be doing and I would love to record it and share it with you guys but I don't want to share it with you guys if no one's interested. <laughs> um, so definitely let me know if you like these, these type of videos and I will do more. So thank you for watching. I'll see you again in part two. Bye bye.